What I want to do is give you a little overview of where we're headed with the course and kind of help you understand how I've laid it out and why. ASP.NET has been out for so long that rather than do a extremely basic course, I wanted to kind of do a little bit of a mesh between some of the basics of ASP.NET and then some of the cool features and functions that you have here. What I'm going to do is I'll start off talking about some of the ASP.NET and the .NET Framework basics to help you kind of understand where this came from and how it's actually working. Then we'll jump out into some just some basic web form basics, do a quick little web form, a web page, let you see how it's working so that you can understand how to build it from there. We'll jump into things like the split view and the source view and the anatomy of a web form and all that. Then we'll discuss the change in the flow and grid layout functionalities that Microsoft has brought about. We'll take a look at the visual web developer and just all kinds of things that have to do with your web page and how we're building them. Then we'll talk about the controls and events, get you up to speed on that. Then jump into that topic that drives everybody nuts from time to time, which is postback. And we'll talk about how to control postback and understanding what postback is. Take a quick look at tracing. I like the way they've done tracing now. Much, much easier to invoke. It runs a lot cleaner. Then we'll jump on to server controls, and we'll talk about the various controls that you have out there at your disposal when you're developing an ASP.NET. And we'll talk about the differences between those web server controls and the HTML controls and there's a fair amount of confusion that comes in on controls nowadays. So I'll try to clear some of that up. Then we'll talk about validation and how important validation is becoming daily, especially out on the Internet. And we'll talk about the validation controls that Microsoft gives you. We're going to take a, a pretty close look at the required validator, range validator, regular expression validator, the validation summary controls. So you'll see all of those as we go through here. Then I'll spend a fair amount of time on managing state. This is another one that a lot of people really struggle with, it seems like, especially when they're first getting going here. And that is, how do we manage state in an ASP.NET environment? We're going to look at the options you have. We'll talk about session state and using the session ID. And then we'll talk about a session state servers, using SQL Server to store your session information. Then we'll get into this whole thing of machine keys and I'm actually going to throw a program in here to help you with that. We'll talk about view state, how IIS7 fits into this. Uh, we're going to cover state pretty well. Then we're going to jump out into uh, displaying data. Everybody always wants to know, how do I make data show up on a web page? And how do I um, change data or work with a database? And uh, you're going to like what you see here. It doesn't take very long to show you how to drop a control onto a web page and start reading data and updating data. And we'll play with the grid view a little bit, and we'll talk about some basic functionalities there. Then we'll deal with security. You always have to deal with security. We'll talk about some basics on security, uh, some authentication methods uh, that you can use. And then uh, we'll finish up looking at the configuration files, that web.config and machine.config files. So we're going to cover quite a bit of information, some broad topics. But what I've tried to do is kind of hit some hot spots that I get a lot of questions about in live classes and so forth. And to try to give you an overall picture, and I'm not taking you through building a website or a web application, but I'm showing you pieces and parts of how you will use these various parts when you build your own web application. I think you're going to find it quite informative. So anyway, with that, let's just jump into the course and get started.